This week on the Spotlight, Dwayne Wade tries to alibi for some of the Bulls' problems. Didn't do a very good job of it. Jose Abreu, positive for 2017 with his Gilligan hat on. And then what else do we do? We're going to go to Trivia 2016 title match at Jackson Lansing. More clips. The Bears welcome new quarterback Mike Glennon. He's tall, but is he good? Check out my website, Benkowski.com, for my weekly article and up-to-the-minute trivia sites. From wherever Chicago sports teams are making news, it's the 29th year of the Perfect Pitch Auto Repair Sports Spotlight. They have tune-ups, transmissions, AC service, engine repair, tire repair, oil changes, and more, 108th in Kedzie. Lansing Floral Shop, open 8 a.m. daily. Custom silk flowers, Bridgewater candles, great flowers, 708 474 1212. A great floral shop, Lansing Floral. Sheffield's has my trivia game March 22nd, 7.30 p.m. Get to Dyer, Indiana on that Wednesday, won't you? With a 30-year Southwest Side tradition, Hupfin is open 24 hours to serve you with great breakfasts like the Becky Thatcher, soups, great lunches, one-third pound burgers, clubs, and much more, dinners from seafood to steaks to pasta, great donuts, and ice creams. With three locations at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero, stop in today. You know Huck Finn is open. You've got to get to Dr. Sherman Clay, chiropractor. Gentle adjusting, most insurance accepted. Massage therapy, too. Walk-ins are welcome. Call 773-324-4325. That's HEAL. Dr. Sherman Clay. You've got to get to the Wise Owl at Van Buren and Racine. Pizzas, pork sliders, Cuban sandwiches, carrot soup, elote, burgers, taco salads, and more. Great cocktails and great bartenders. A tremendous array at the Wise Owl, Van Buren and Racine. See you there. You've got to get to Matt Anthony Sports Bar and Grill, 3350 West 47th Street. Serving La Coco's Pizza, always good. A wide variety of sandwiches and the full bar. And my trivia game every other Friday starting at about 545. So good stuff at Matt Anthony. I'll see you over there. We'll have fun. We'll eat, drink, and play on a Friday late afternoon, early evening. So in the particular game we chose on the schedule, I thought, boy, Houston... Bulls will play up to their top potential, right? They did for about 11 minutes. And then somebody pulled the plug. And the Bulls had two horrific quarters. Some of the worst basketball I've seen the Bulls play ever. In the second and third quarter combined, they scored 30. It really stunk. And as a result, the Rockets cruised easily to victory. And what also kind of put me off was... I walk in the Bulls locker room and there's a lot of laughter. I don't know what the hell was funny about that. It was an inferior product on the floor. We gave Coach Hoiberg a break and skipped him on this one. But Dwayne Wade was in the center of the firing line. And here's a, a good chunk of that. Pretty good first quarter for the Bulls, up by 10. Yep. And then second and third quarters, what happened? I wish I could tell you. I don't know. I just know that uh, we was down and they was up. And uh, they continue to do so. I don't know, Chuck. Dwayne, Dwayne, we asked you this at, at the morning shoot-around. Yeah. yeah. The rotation is obviously pretty deep right now, and it went to another level this, tonight with 12 in the first half. Is it, is it hard to get any, any kind of rhythm when you're playing 12 guys? Or? Yes. But you know, you're, we're player, we players. we got to play with who's on the basketball floor. And um, you know, it's got to be ready. You know, guys, it's, it's it's tough because guys don't know how many minutes they're going to play. I mean, Jaron played two minutes, right. came out, and you know, mentally it's tough for guys as well. So um, when you got younger guys doing that, it's, just, it's hard to bring them back. But, um, you know, we stick with it, man. You know, we're a team. and We win together, we lose together, uh, no matter who, put, who Coach puts out there on the floor. And um, just got to be prepared for it. I think he's trying to figure it out.
you know, and um, it's tough for him as well, you know, with making a move, you know, at the deadline and trying to figure out guys uh, who to play. But um, so we got to take some lumps, and uh, it's a part of it. It's a part of the, um, you know, of, of the youth movement. Part of your uh, problem in the second and third, I thought, was shot selection. Uh, what, what did you think of your team's shot selection during your bad quarters? I don't know. I haven't looked at the film. Uh, you know, shots are, you know, it's a miss or make lead, you know. So, you know, no one looks at the shots when they go in. You just look at them when they don't go in, you know. So, um, I like the, you know, I like guys being aggressive shooting the ball. So, um, I'm not really going to overanalyze that. Do you get the sense that guys are all still on the same page here? Say that again. You think they're all, everybody's still on the same page? Here. In this locker room? Yeah. No, the guys in the locker room is fine. I mean, everyone's, you know, you know, no one, some guys don't know when they're going to play, and some guys don't know how much. So, you know, it could be a little um, challenging from that standpoint as players. And like I said, especially young guys, you know, who's trying to develop that mental toughness. Uh, it can be tough, you know, but, um, you know, this is, this is the hand that we all are dealt, and we all got to figure out a way to play it. Is this part of the, the growing process of a young player to, to yes, fight sir. through this? Yes, sir. This is it's a part of you know what where, where, where we at. You know, we're a team like you know it's no secret. You know, we're a team who's you know preparing for the future and also trying to make the playoffs. So you're gonna take some some lump, some nights, and some nights you're gonna win some games. It's gonna look good. So um, you know, hey, this is this is we we figure out a way to try to bounce back against tough Boston and Charlotte back to back, and um, you know, and see what see what happens. Are you satisfied with the? Um, I'm not going. I'm not really going to go there. We'll talk about that I, later. I mean, don't, I mean, after I'm not getting in like, trouble no more. Don't, don't you feel <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't you feel not going to do it, man. Not going to do it. Don't you feel you have enough? I'm you know, not going to cachet to say, this isn't going to work. We need to slip this down to nine, ten guys, and, and if we're going to go for the playoffs, that's what you have to do. I sit in the locker. I got a jersey. I don't. I don't wear a suit. Uh, it's not my job. My job is to play and um, and try to you know give confidence and lead you know along the way. So um, you know, hey, we took so we took a smack tonight, um, and um, you know I'll be there against Boston, try to help lead my guys in the next game. Whoever's on the floor, whatever minutes, try to keep them confident um, and you know and try to get a win. What's your opinion of the team's defensive effort? Don't yell at me. What's, what's your opinion of the team's defensive effort tonight? We can always be better, man. You know, we're playing against a team who, you know, their goal is to try to shoot about 63s a night. Um, you know, I think they shot 50 something, they hit, what, 15, 16. I mean, um, we did a good job there. We just didn't do a, uh, you know, a good enough job, um, you know, in transition um, like we haven't all year. Um, but, you know, this team's put points on the board. That's what they do. So, you know, if you don't score enough with them, you know, you'll be in trouble. We didn't score enough with them. Oh, I came out fine. Um, you know, obviously, I would love to see how I feel tomorrow, but uh, I came out fine from this game. So it was a good one to try to get back in the groove of things, and um, I'm looking forward to being on the court um, Sunday. It's got to be difficult for you to put player development over winning. Um, in fact, you don't have that many years uh, left. I've been to finals five times. No, no one's going to feel sorry for me. I'm okay. <laughs> You've got to get to Lansing Floral Shop. Open at 8 a.m. daily. Besides a great array of live flowers, they have custom silks, Bridgewater candles. They want you to plan your parties early at a wide delivery area. They're located at 3420 Ridge Road in Lansing, or you can call 708-474-1212. Weddings, funerals, birthdays, anniversaries, and guys, try the No Reason Flower. Believe me, it works. Lansing Floral Shop. Give them a call, 708-474-1212. Kim G. Sherman, psychotherapist, Displains Wellness Center. Therapy for individuals, couples, families. Call 847-962-4849. I've known Kim for over 20 years. She is a true professional, and she will help you. Give her a call. Family dentist, Lawrence Furland, DDS, 109th and Kedzie, crowns, veneers, cleanings, improving your smile, they do a great job. Call 773-233-7044. Excellent work. Impeccable. Call the family dentist. 773-233-7044. They did a great job for me, and they'll do a great job for you. You've got to get to Shelton Fireworks, the world's largest warehouse, off Interstate 94, exit 22B in Porter, Indiana. 
row after row of the best fireworks anywhere, from the little ones to the grand finales that'll end your show. Birthdays, anniversaries, graduations, in addition to the 4th of July, just get over there to Shelton Fireworks now. Then you can reload by the time summer comes. Shelton Fireworks, I-94, exit 22B in Portage. I got an idea. You should get to the Ballpark Pub. Alternate Mondays at 8 p.m., March 20th, the next one. Come eat, drink, play, and win. 514 West Pershing Road. Laugh, have a good time, you'll be chuckling. We're back on the spotlight, and we're, of course, at SoxFest. And there's a translator who helps us a lot on the Spanish-speaking ballplayers. And his name is? Billy Russo. Billy Russo. So we thank him especially for the work he did uh, with starting with Jose Abreu, who has a lot of thoughts on a lot of things. Sentar junto a este grupo de muchachos, de repente los momentos difíciles que le puedan atravesar en la temporada, como le pasa a todos los equipos de todos los peloteros. Sí, 100%. Nada más que si la vida me da la oportunidad de permanecer por, por mucho tiempo aquí, eh, vamos a pasar tiempos buenos, tiempos malos, pero creo que siempre vamos a tener el, la fe de, de, de poder salir adelante porque el grupo de jóvenes con, 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 con tanto talento y. Y el, y el grupo de, de, de veteranos que tienen el deseo de salir adelante y creemos que estamos siempre a disposición de, 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 de estar y de cumplir, que es lo más importante. I think that, I think that I'm ready and, and I think that we are ready for all the challenges that we're going to face during the season and in the future. Because I think there is something that is, uh, that is in, in this sport especially. It's, it's a long season and you're going you're gonna to hit some bumps and you have to, you have to gain it. You have to, you have to move on and you have to do your best every single day. And that's the way that we as a team need to approach uh, the season. There, there is uh, no other way to do it. Does he expect to stay in Chicago during the rebuild? Or does he think that he will be traded as part of the rebuild? ¿Tú esperas mantenerte en Chicago durante todo este proceso de reconstrucción o tú crees que vas a ser cambiado? Son cosas que nosotros no controlamos. To certain that I can control. I would like, I would like to be here, but uh, I can control that. What do you think of Renteria will do in kind of guiding them through this rebuild? How do you think that Renteria will guide this team through this process of reconstruction? We all know the qualities of Renteria. Renteria is a person who knows a lot about what is the baseball, and I believe that with all the faith in the world, I believe that he will impose and he will impose all his experience to win this team. I think everybody knows how good Renteria is as a person, and I think that he is a very good person. I think everybody knows how good is he as, as a person. Uh, he's uh, an outstanding person and, and he has the skills to guide us during, during this uh, process. Uh, I don't have any doubt about it that he's the right person for this process and, and uh, I, I'm happy to have him right now and, and I think that all of us are going are gonna to see the results at the end of the tunnel. Thank you, Jose. Thank you. Thank you. We have another installment of Rick Hahn, the big White Sox boss talks about the rebuild process and nobody knows it better than he does. Now it's a tough one. It's, a it's tough to serve two masters. The focus, of, the focus of our scouting department, of our player development people, of the major league staff, is on building something that's sustainable. In the short term, we might have to pay some price at the big league level. I mean, obviously, we had a team last year that finished under 500. We've removed Chris Sale and Adam Eaton, among others, from it. So it's tough to stand up here with a straight face and say to you, this team's ready to contend. However, I think everyone here understands what we're trying to accomplish for the long term, and stranger things have happened in baseball than teams that weren't expected to contend pulling together and being able to succeed. If that happens, fantastic, and we'll, we'll fuel it and, and help facilitate as much as we can. But in reality, we're at the, uh, closer to the start than we are to the finish of this process of rebuilding this club. In, I, I don't think it's having a huge impact on it. I mean, it, certainly the value of impending free agents, guys who are going to be free agents after 2017, is a little bit different now in terms of how the comp pick system is going to work and what you can potentially get back after a qualifying offer, uh, which I suppose is part of the calculus when acquiring a player in his walk year. But it, otherwise, it hasn't, I don't think, had a real big influence on it. It, it's, I don't think I'd call it awkward because, again, they 
get it. They understand what we're about. They understand where we've been and why we're at the point we're at now. And any time they've had a question, it's been on answered you know, f as forthright as we can be to them. Uh, as Ricky will explain, look, when 7 o'clock rolls around, the job is very clear for them. They're going to have to give everything they can to try to win that ball game on any given night, regardless of what other 24 guys happen to be next to them in that locker room. And these guys seem to be able to have that focus. And over the course of the season, we may have to address it a few more times, certainly close to the deadline as more rumors circulate. But uh, again, this is, uh, they get what's going on here. And these are professionals who have been through this before. So I don't think it's going to be a real difficulty. It's going to be a matter of them pulling together and being focused on winning ball games because that's all they can control. With a 30-year Southwest Side tradition, Huckfin is open 24 hours to serve you with great breakfasts like the Becky Thatcher, soups, great lunches, one-third pound burgers, clubs, and much more. Dinners from seafood to steaks to pasta, great donuts, and ice creams. With three locations at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero, stop in today. You know Huckfin is open. Go play at Red Shoes Billiards, 12009 South Pulaski in Alsip, featuring 16 Brunswick Gold Crown pool tables, drop fluorescent lighting fixtures, and the fabulous rate of cloth. Call 708-388-3700. And now video gaming is available at Red Shoes from open till close. And don't forget, the Illinois Lottery 2. That's Red Shoe Billiards, 12009 South Pulaski. You've got to get to the sock. Live Minkowski trivia, alternate Thursdays at 8 p.m. 93rd and Roberts Road. Great game, great people. Check out the sock. I think you'll be glad you did when you go to my trivia game every other Thursday. 8 p.m. 93rd and Roberts Road. Perfect pitch auto repair at 108th and Kedzie. Thus tune-ups, transmission, AC service, engine repair, tire repair, oil changes, and emission system repair. They're open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., and they've done a great job for me. Perfect Pitch Auto Repair at 108th and Kedzie. You've got to get to Papa Joe's new location, 5900 West 111th Street. Italian beef, tetrazzini, great pizza, parmesan, ravioli, and more. All my classic choices. New location, and they can still deliver into the city. Get the Papa Joe's. This former Blackhawk defenseman coached the team in 05 06. Five seconds. Going. Going. So sorry. We go to Llama Farm. Five seconds. Going. Going. So sorry. You got to jump on those 2000s questions. Illegal aliens. Dennis Savard was a center. We go to the bar. Chris Chelios did not coach. We go to the sock. Trent Yanni. Trent Yanni is right. That's why he won that award, ladies and gentlemen. 750. You're in second. Two off the lead. Night out. Name that tune. Might be singing. No, I'm not. In 05, Kanye West and Jamie Foxx combined for this two word hit. Gold yes, Gold Digger, yes. 70, so night out, 510. Try Sharks. What? No. Sally is pretty loud, you know, in a good way. <laughs> this Cub hitter in 2016 walked 96 times and struck out only 82.
Five seconds. Ben Zobrist is right. So 100. And the Shy Sharks, the first to 1,000. JMB, Time Magazine, or name that too? One word answer. From the year 2000. The smell of your skin, the taste of your kiss, the way you whisper in the dark. <laughs> Amazed is right. Amazed you got it with that dog shit singing I just did. 7.30. Stitches are up. Well, this will be better. Forward answer. 1995. Did you know when it snows, my eyes become large and the light that you shine can be seen? Kiss from a rose is right. Baby! So, you go to 670. And now the Incredibles. Time Magazine or the other bad option? <laughs> okay, well, I mean, to sing to them. All right. Without any wisecracks, pretend it's a woman singing. <laughs> Let your body move to the music. Move to the music. 1990, one word. Vogue is right. I'll give up 100. Vogue is right. 360. One of our more evenly matched championship trivia title events in recent years. And we'll have more of it next week. Here on the Spotlight. You've got to get the Jacks. 3325 Ridge Road in Lansing. Trivia every Tuesday at 7 p.m. A very intense competitive game. Any of half a dozen teams can win. My game show at Oliver's gets better and better. At 6100 West 159th Street in Oak Forest. Live trivia alternate Thursdays at 7 p.m. Have great food, great drink, and great trivia at Oliver's. Perfect Pitch Auto Repair at what 108th and Kedzie is great. Tune-ups, transmissions, AC service, engine repair, tire repair, oil changes. They're open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. They do a great job for me, and they'll do a great job for you. They're quick, and they don't charge an arm and a leg. Perfect Pitch Auto Repair, 108th and Kedzie. Trivia will be at the Sock. Alternate Thursdays at 8 p.m. 93rd and Roberts Road. Great food, great drink, great people, everything great. Reggie's is a great place with tons of music, interesting people and staff, great food and drink at 21st and State. And amongst the cool things they have, Benkowski Trivia. All shows are now Monday at 6 p.m. Reggie's, 21st and State, a fun place. A.J. Przinski is back under contract. Paul Canerco has been signed back up. And the pitching staff has been beefed up, too. Uh, a very interesting offseason for the White Sox, and effective, extremely effective, for Kenny Williams. We got a chance to catch up with Paul Canerco about returning to the Sox, uh, the emotion of it, or lack of, and uh, a few nuances about his game. Uh, Paul Canerco, part one uh, of our lengthy and enjoyable talk, uh, he is the face of the franchise and has been part of it since 1999. I want to talk about your offseason. Um, I, I, I talked to a lot of fans in the offseason, and, and people were on pins and needles, you know, waiting to find out what, what you were going to do. And, you know, it, uh, there was tremendous excitement when, when you and AJ resigned. And I, I just want to find out if you're aware of how much. Or if you've seen fan mail or if you have an idea about the reaction of Chicago to, to your staying. You know, not too much. When, when the offseason comes, you kind of, um, unless you live in the city you play in, which I don't, I go back home to Arizona, you're kind of secluded and you kind of seclude yourself from it. Um, I do have some friends here that, uh, you know, after I sign back and, and all that, that, you know, kind of let you know uh, everybody's pumped and, you know, kind of send you emails and text messages and voicemails and stuff like that. But, um, 
you, you know, you try to, in a situation where you're a free agent, you really try to distance yourself from anything that's emotional because um, whether it's before it, you know, after it's kind of okay, but before, you know, you don't want to really know what everybody's saying because you want to just try to make a clear decision for what's best for you and your family and not try to get caught up in it. But um, I, I think, not just me, but I think everybody's pumped the fact that we made some really nice signings this offseason. We kept some people, um, you know, that could have gone somewhere else. And, you know, it looks like a pretty solid team to me. So, you know, it's not just about me coming back, but I mean, the overall picture, man, it got really, um, I mean, we, I, we feel like we're walking into the season with a pretty good team here and uh, a team that's built to win the, the division. So everybody should be really pleased with that. But now it's up to the players to go out there and get it done. Well, um, what about the pitching? Uh, tell us your thoughts about any pitching additions you made, because you know, it, obviously, you're, 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 you always leaned upon to talk about the lineup. But uh, you know, you, you know some of these guys from having faced them. Uh, what about your additions? Well, I think um, the, the two the two moves that probably will prove huge, I think, are for sure Jesse Crane um, and Will Omen. I think if you just know how baseball works and you know how bullpens work. Um, that's just going to like allow a lot of flexibility and a lot of um, guys to be in roles that they're going to feel comfortable in, and that's so huge because at the starting pitching already, um, you know, Jake's obviously got to get healthy, which he will. But um, the bullpen, to me, like signing those two guys to sure up that bullpen is is probably the most significant thing. I noticed that your on base was close to 400 in 2010. Um, I don't know if that factors in. I well, I, yeah, actually, I do know that it factors in. Would it would would it motivate you to maybe consider batting third, or do you think um, fourth will be your spot in the lineup this year? I'm not sure. I, I doubt it'll be third, but I, I imagine I'm going to hit anywhere from fourth to fifth is my guess. I haven't talked to Ozzy at all. They'll tell me it's not really a big deal to me. Um, when you hit anywhere in the middle there, you pretty much know you're going to get up four times a night and have guys on base, and your job is to get them in. Um, and they're going to try, you know, lineups are made sometimes not for one specific person, but to try to counter the other team and the moves they can make and the way they can use bullpens against you. Uh, and so that's what it will probably come down to is, you know, a guy like myself or Adam or, or Alex, um, we should be mature enough and uh, been around long enough to handle whatever it is that wherever they're going to tell us to hit in the lineup. And, uh, you know, that's that's the way I've always felt about it. You get your four bats, there's going to be some nice there's guys on, some nice there's not, and you just kind of have to play the game that's in front of you at that moment. But most of the time, if you're in the middle, you're going to ask, be asked to drive and run, so that's what you got to do. One of the premier White Sox of all time, Paul Canerco. Thanks for watching. See you next week. You've got to get to the Ballpark Pub for my trivia game. Alternate Mondays at 8 p.m. The next one, March 20th. Come eat great food. Drink, play, and win. 514 West Pershing Road. I'll be looking for you at the Ballpark Pub. This week's show has been brought to you by the Perfect Pitch Auto Repair Shop. They do it all at 108th and Kedzie. Puck Finn, a great wide-ranging menu, along with donuts and ice cream. Open 24 hours at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero. In print graphics, leaders in booklet, perfect bound, saddle stitch. Very competitive pricing. Call 708-396-1010.